Hello, here is Danny. Today we talk about bicycle clothing. This is the way we express ourselves, right? We can match the helmet with the socks, with the bar tape on the bike. We can look more lycra style or more, more enduro freestyle, which is cool. But the clothing is also, or maybe most importantly, the safety and the comfort. So let's just see whether you are not making one of these five very common mistakes when wearing the helmet, the jersey, the bib shorts and the shoes. Let's go straight to the first mistake, which is this. So it's helmet related and many beginner cyclists would wear the helmet just like that. Good morning, ma'am. So it doesn't look good, but also what problems it can cause is this. Can you see my, my head has al almost no protection here at the front. And also in case of a crash, your helmet will move further down at the back it will maybe not break your neck but definitely it can cause some problems here so make sure your helmet is pretty much leveled now with these modern crazy but nice looking designs of, of uh, the helmets it will be difficult maybe to find any line in order to level the helmet but you can simply check it like this you need the same amount of support from the back and from the front so if the helmet is not moving in, in any direction, in, in any way, that means it's pretty much leveled. Now, the strap. You can see that there are actually two straps on uh, both sides of the ear. Uh, when I'm shortening, shortening this one, the helmet will go down. Shortening that one, it will go up. Make sure that you have both when you just lock it like this. There is none of these is really loose because then your helmet might move. So that's important thing. Another thing is also some other adjustments at the back of your helmet. Now when I'm opening it, it's a bit too loose, but still, you know, it holds, but it's too loose. So I will tighten it just a little bit more, not to squeeze my head, but so that it will really feel very, very stable even without the strap being locked now it looks really really secure that's how it should be so the right size of the helmet adjustment here at the rear of your straps and remember it should be leveled in this way it will be safe the second no-no is wearing this under this meaning having some casual underwear under your bib shorts. I'm not talking about people who commute to the work and are already dressed uh, like they will be working uh, or maybe we just go to, to the store to buy something. Maybe we'll just be cycling 15, 20 minutes. But if we're going to be training more than let's say 30 minutes, this uh, type of shorts with the padding inside is the best way to go. It's not only comfortable uh, for the saddle for our butt, uh, but the right padding, the right for the butt and for the saddle uh, will make our right much more comfortable for the skin so that there will be nothing irritating for the skin. Just think about it. We are pedaling with let's say 70, 80, 90 repetitions per minute. Uh, now think about how many minutes you are riding. It will be thousands of motions for your uh, thighs, for your legs. To, to do those, um, those repetitions. That means having nothing under this, uh, these bib shorts will be the best, especially for your skin. The third mistake is while dressing up with our bib shorts. So uh, some riders uh, will just slide those up and when these go already over our arms, they're happy with it. Uh, but the padding is still not on its place. You can see how much space there is between my butt and the padding here. Uh, that means this should go a little bit higher, like that. You would quite often see <laughs> quite funny motion uh, of the cyclists just uh, before the race. They do this, tick, tick. <laughs> That's because they are, they are finding the right place for the padding. Yeah, it looks funny, but it is really important that you don't stretch this part of your bib shorts too much so they, they don't they don't have to be they can't be 
uh, straight too much here. They go just a little bit further here and now I'm feeling the padding is on its place. Why is it important? When the pad will move or will not be at its place, uh, it can, uh, it can um, cause some problem with the uh, blood flow uh, and it will not support your bat as it should at the back. So make sure the padding is at its place. There is not too much stretch right here. And now we can really go with this, this type of bib shorts for many hours of riding. The fourth mistake, I want to buy a jersey or some jacket for my bike. I want to try it in the store. So just looking at the mirror, it's all fine. I do feel fine, nothing is too tight, so I'm gonna buy it. Then what happens when I sit on the bike? Many things happen. There is way too much material here in the front. The back goes up and my sleeves are just too short on this one. So if you buy a jacket or a jersey, make sure that you try it in such a, pos such a position. It will be so much better for you. Just uh, to show you the contrast, uh, I'm gonna wear the one I bought oh, years ago. Uh, it's my old and beloved jacket. Uh, from the first glance, at the first glance, uh, many would say it's just too tight around your, your body, but you will see it's not. So if I wear it like this, I don't feel comfortable. I feel too little material here in the front. I feel stretching it. But when I sit on the bike, that's really awesome. This one is not too long here at the back, but still it will protect my kidneys. In the front, at the front, not too much material. There is always something happening here with the zipper, but this is just cool and the sleeves are just fine. I'm also much more aware. We don't have to be competing in triathlon to take advantage of that. This jacket against this jacket over 30 kilometers per hour will make really a lot of difference. So if you try a jacket or a jersey, do it in a cycling position. Here is the last and fifth mistake. People who are just buying the first clipless pedal, so they were using the platform pedals so far and now clipless pedals, so they also need to replace the shoes because the shoes need to have uh, compatibility with the cleats and the problem here is that we will over tight the shoes around our feet why so because now we think now I'm gonna pull the pedal so much I want to feel the bike I want to jump I want to do all the crazy stuff with the SPDs which is not always the best way to <laughs> to learn technique by the way uh, but we will really uh, decrease the blood flow in our feet. So maybe 30 minutes will not make us feel it, but over an hour you will feel something like some numbness here in the fr at the front or uh, something just strange about your feet. Uh, and beginners would not uh, realize sometimes that just loosening your straps a little bit would help so much. So this is pretty common mistake. This was the last one, the fifth one. Let me know which one do you or have you been making maybe in the past or maybe uh, you've noticed some others that uh, people do. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna see you soon. Bye bye.